coming in, sorry, I didn't see you there. Make yourself at home. Welcome to Jojo Games, where here we are all about giving our gamers the best deals and prices. Can I help you today? Okay, sure, sure. You uh, just wanted to take a look around at the store? Of course, no worries. Uh, well, feel free to take a look around. I'm just going to finish up this order here, and if anything uh, tickles your fancy, please don't hesitate to give me a query. Great. All right. Did you find something? Great. Well, let's get started. What can I help you with? You have a couple of things you want to get knocked off the bucket list today. I see. Well, uh, let's get started. How can I, uh, what can I get for you? You're wanting to start gaming live streaming? Ah, uh, yes. Joining the nerds over on Twitch. I'm just joking. <laughs> so, uh, what can I, uh, what can we, uh, do for you today to help you set that up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, some. El we have some capture cards, um, like Elgato capture cards. We have the HD 60 FPS one. That one's gonna record and stream your gameplay footage at 60 frames per second in 1920 by 1080. So 1080p. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sure, I can show you what those look like. Let me just grab one. Yeah. So it should look something like this. This one's actually uh, my personal capture card. Basically how it works is you have an HDMI cable that goes in here and then this one gets plugged into your console of choice. So a Nintendo Switch, whatever, PlayStation 4, 5, whatever. I love these. They are really good at what they do. Um, I've never really had any connection issues with mine. But if you're looking to make sure that the quality of your streams are right up there, I would really recommend getting one of these. The HD 60s Pluses do a real good job at processing and encoding the footage. So I would definitely recommend one of these. Great. I think we have some secondhand ones that I can do for you today for half price. Yeah, they're brand new. Great. Okay, sure. side for a second there. Now, my next question is, when you're doing your live streaming, were you planning on using a uh, webcam? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So, um, if you're planning on just using your built-in webcam, uh, then this isn't really necessary, but if you're really wanting to take your live streaming quality to that big professional level, I would highly recommend investing in the Elgato Gamlink. So these basically help encode and process your professional camera's footage and convert it into a digestible way for your computer to process it. Sometimes if you plug your camera straight into your computer, it might not actually load fast enough and you might experience some connectivity issues or lag. With a cam link, it essentially compresses the image and processes it in a way that's digestible for your computer. It records like the cam, uh, the capture card at, I believe, uh, 60 frames, 1920, so 1080p. Yep. So I'd really recommend using this. You don't really need it though if you're not really going to be using your webcam if you don't mind having uh, just using your normal built-in web camera but if you're wanting to take it again like I said to that next level I definitely would recommend one of these okay sure I'll put that aside for you okay so those two the cam link you need for live streaming. A 
Stream Deck, yes. This is just my personal one. A stream deck is a very useful, handy piece of equipment whenever you're live streaming, uh, whether it's on Twitch or any other live streaming platforms. Essentially, you're able to hotkey your different, uh, I guess, backgrounds and settings to the different uh, little pads here. So sometimes, instead of having to go into OBS or OBS Studio or whatever it is and having to manually change the scenes. You can use a stream deck and it can just automatically change it for you at the press of a button. I personally really like these. Yeah, I'd recommend them a lot. It's very useful to have. To be honest, this isn't really something that you need to buy in the beginning. It's really only for the more seasoned streamers who are really wanting to take things seriously, but regardless, uh, they're very handy, they're very useful, and uh, they definitely have their perks, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so usually you will have this plugged in just from your computer, and you can just mount it on a little stand, and then just change the scenes. Very, very handy. Well, I can put that on the side for you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright, so... Anything else I can grab for you? Mm-hmm. Trading card games? Uh, sure. What? Let me just check the system. Uh, what sort of... DCG's trading card games were you uh, interested in today? We have uh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Y Shorts, Vanguard, uh, Dragon Ball. Was there uh, anyone in particular that tickled your fancy? Yeah, yeah, we should have some Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs. Are you just getting back into the game? Nice, nice, yeah. Yeah, I mean, personally, uh, I like Yu-Gi-Oh as well, but, uh, I do like a bit of Pokemon here and there, especially collecting them, you know what I mean? So, let me check the system. Uh, yeah, we do have some of the latest, uh, 2022 Megatins available. Uh, that basically has reprints of that year's, essentially, best cards from main sets like uh, Darkwing Blast, Power of the Elements, other sets like Blazing Vortex, they've all been reprinted in the in the Megatins, so we do have those in stock. Uh, they're really nice. You got a lot of good cards in those. Are there any other things I could get for you related to that? Yeah, sure. Uh, we should have some sleeves available. Yeah, it's really important to protect your cards. You really don't want to get them damaged, especially the ones that are expensive nowadays. Uh, let me check. Yeah, we do have some Dragon Shield Met Sleeves available. They're going to be really good at protecting your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, uh, yeah, anything else I should also grab before I go to the back of the storage room? A deck box. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, you're really, uh, quite the duelist, eh? Okay, let me check the system. Okay, I think we have some Ultra Pro deck boxes available. They're only in red, though, if that's okay. Sure. Okay. Well, let me go ahead, go back to the storage room, and uh, grab uh, grab some of these things for you, and I'll be right back. Great. Okay, I have returned, and with gifts. So, here we have the 2022 Megatins. It's pretty cool. I really like this design. You can see it's uh, Kaiba and Yugi. We have, uh, what do we have there? Looks like we have a couple different Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the little hieroglyphic tablets. So, uh, this is the, the tins. This tin of Lost Memories is a recreation of the first portion of the tablet of Lost Memories seen in the original Yu-Gi-Oh show. 
packaged in of lost memories includes three mega packs, each with 18 cards, one prismatic secret rare, two ultra rares, two super rares, one rare, and 12 common cards, including cards from the booster sets Savage Strike, Dark Neo Storm, Rising Rampage, Chaos Impact, and more, plus additional cards from previous years and brand new cards you've never seen before. You might even discover the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, a nearly unstoppable fusion of Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon. So you'll definitely pull a bunch of really, really good cards, I think, uh, from this set. So we have that for you. We also have some of the sleeves you were asking about. This is the art. I really like these sleeves as well. I'll just show you what the back design looks like. So, that's sort of uh, the design of the sleeves. Yeah, so these will look real nice uh, when you have your Yu Gi Oh cards in them. Gives it that nice matte finish. Uh, these are really silky smooth when you're sliding them on the mat. So I would definitely uh, recommend these ones. And uh, Dragon Shield are known to make fantastic quality sleeves for DCGs. So we have uh, one pack of those. I believe a pack comes with about 80 sleeves. So you should be able to sleeve up your entire deck. Yeah. We also have in stock. This is the Ultra Pro Ones. Simple little deck box. You can fit about 100 cards per deck box, so it's more than enough uh, to fit everything that you need. Personally, I'm a big fan of, uh, probably, like, I like Semnus a lot. I like the voice actor really nailed that part, in my opinion. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Alright, so just Kingdom Hearts. No other PlayStation video 
Fortnite games. Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright. Anything else I could get for you today? Yes, we do have some Wii remotes. I think those are actually like secondhand and on sale. Um, old consoles, that sort of stuff. We do at a really good price. Honestly, if you buy all of this other stuff, I can, you know, just throw those in for free. Yeah, no worries. All good. So, um, let me just check. Just to make sure. Uh, were you looking for any particular Wii remotes and nunchucks? Okay, so two Wii remotes, two Wii remotes. Nunchuck, you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. That should not be a problem. Should have those in stock. Yeah, that should be uh, fine. Yeah, okay, okay. Be right back. So we have two Wii remotes here. Um, these are pretty old, I just want to let you know. So like I said, they're second hand, and um, we do have these available for you today. What was your favorite uh, Nintendo Wii game to play? Nice, nice. So, we are remote and nunchuck. Did you want the other one as well? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's have to add those into the system. Uh, 
should do it, but I am saying Nintendo patched their switches after a first couple of runs, so you can't actually hack them or whatever, but these ones you can, as they were the first versions. Um, so, look, if that's something you want to do, if that's your prerogative, I'll, I'll leave you up to that. So, in this Nintendo Switch, to break things down for you, you're receiving a couple of things, obviously. switch and charge it at the same time. It also will be what allows you to play it on any screen of your choice, so that's important. You'll obviously have the handle grip holder. You can slot those Joy-Cons into there and sort of it gives you a more sturdy, stable grip of the Joy-Cons sometimes. There will be games that you play which aren't really using free motion and in those instances, you're going to want to use the hand grip dock. There's also, of course, the actual gamepad itself, which, like I said, you can either slot straight into the dock, or you can slide into with your Joy-Cons, and uh, you can play that on the go, wherever, it is, wherever you may be. Uh, very, very, very handy. We also, I believe, back in the storage, have some cases. Uh, I know a lot of people like to when they're on, you know, public transport or, you know, maybe they're out somewhere, they like to, you know, take their Nintendo Switch on the go. So, if that interests you as well, uh, I can maybe throw in one or two of those for free. Um, other than that, you get an HDMI cable. So get two Joy-Cons, I believe. So that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. That's what you get when you get the Nintendo Switch. Pretty good. Um, you'll also, I think when you boot it up, you'll just have to plug in some of your details. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. I love the Switch. I just love how uh, portable it is and how you know easy it is to use on the go. Um, and it's able to load up some incredible games. So.
switch. Go to your Kingdom Hearts. Go to use some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff you need for that. Uh, anything else I can get for you today? Great. All right. Let's just plug that all into the system. services today. And until next time, I'll see you later.